Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous, my friends. No doubt about that. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have a beer that was sent to me by my good buddy Jonathan out of the Garden State in New Jersey. This is the Asbury Park Brewing Company. They're located in Asbury Park. No doubt about it. This is the Blonde Ale. Oh, quite lovely. I bet it's going to be good on this hot summer day we have here. It's 4.9% alcohol by volume and the IBUs are 24. Now, if there's a date stamp on this can, it's well hidden. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Hey, what can I tell you? Yeah, yeah. i tell you what we're going to do today. We're going to save water and drink beer. You might not be able to read that too good, but once I get the beer in there, you'll see. All right. Jonathan sent me two cans of this, so it must be extra good. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and get her in here. Now, the thing about blonde ales is they're usually a nondescript style. And what I mean by that is it's a Euro-style lager. And Euro-style lagers are, are seemingly well-balanced between the hops and the malts. In other words, uh, there's not one over the other that takes center stage. They're, they're just a, a very well-balanced beer. Now, let me go ahead and turn this around so you can see. Save water, drink beer. No doubt. Now, some people might believe that, not knowing that water <laughs> is the main ingredient in beer. <laughs> now, this, uh, this beer is a little bit darker golden than a lot of the uh, blonde ales, the American blonde ales. Uh, it made a very thin head that's not going to stick around very long. Let's, uh, let's see how it tastes. Now, it's got minimal amounts of carbonation. Usually, the carbonation is, is pretty uh, free-flowing on these beers. This one has minimal. Let's check out the aroma. Very grassy. It's almost uh, like a, a German lager. That's, that's what it reminds me of with the aroma. I don't know what kind of hops are in here. If, if they're noble hops, they should give us some good flavor, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and say cheers to the brewers here at Asbury Park. And cheers to Jonathan. Thanks for sending this along, buddy. Some nice sweet malt in there. Don't get any bitterness at all uh, from whatever hops are used in here. It's a slightly sweet, which is unusual. Well, I shouldn't say unusual. It's not unusual, but uh, this amount of sweetness in a blonde ale is unusual. You'll, you'll have more sweetness in a blonde ale than you will bitterness. But this one has, I'm not going to say an excessive amount, but more than what you would normally find in a blonde ale. But it's not off-putting at all. It's rather, rather good. I like it. Now, when I say sweetness, I'm not talking about chocolate sweetness. Because I know a lot of people watch this channel and they're not familiar with beer styles and descriptions they say oh my god i don't want a sweet beer it's not sweet like that no it just has a lovely multi sweetness to it now our head didn't hang around too long and we do have a little bit of lacing there on the side not a lot and um, what can i tell you that's the style of the beer it's not a type of beer that is uh, uh, a, a big mouth feel. It's always a very light bodied beer with a light mouth feel, and that's what this is. It's a very clear beer. You can see right through it. There's no secrets here. <laughs> no doubt about it, baby. It's a very well brewed beer. The only thing that, uh, and I'm not going to dwell on this, there's no date stamp on it that I can find. I always do like a date stamp. It, uh, if you think about it, beer is a food. Beer is a food. Now, if you went to the store, would you purchase a, a perishable product like meat or cheese, eggs, or milk if it didn't have some kind of date stamp on it? Certainly not. I wouldn't. 
usually the date stamps uh, in the store are used before or best buy. Now for beer, I like to see the born on date. What date was this beer canned? That's what I would like to know. But in lieu of that, a best before date is better than no date at all. And I'm not going to dwell on that. There's plenty of YouTubers out here who dwell on that subject at length. And I don't want to be one of those. But other than that, the beer is great. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's no doubt. If you can find this beer... You should try it. Dr. Dave says it's really good for this warm weather we're having. We have 86 degrees Fahrenheit today in Cleveland, Ohio, and that's plenty warm. No doubt. This will cool you off. Hey, life is short. Be happy. Cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they it, it charged me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure, but the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast, and if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair, more than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each once a month and there's a lot of beers in there that i've never heard of from germany i thought i had them all not even close and then i have the around the world beer club which is exactly what it sounds like it's beers from all over the world so far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mmm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 
bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.